Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform basic authentication actions with the Power Platform CLI. Let's go to my desktop and show you how it's done. Okay, here we are on my desktop and I have a Windows Terminal window open with Windows PowerShell. I already installed the Power Platform CLI, so let's start by running pack so that we can see that it's installed. You can also see my version here. So if you have an earlier version or a later version, it could be that some things have changed. But in this case, we will go to pack off and then we'll use the help command to see which different commands are in the pack off command group. And we can see that we have pack off create, list, select, delete, update, name and clear. First, let's run the pack off list command to show you that I don't have any profiles available on this computer. I can run pack off create to create a new one. Let's do that now. And it will show a pop-up. And here I can select one of my accounts. In this case, let me select my Microsoft account and log in. And this will create my off profile for the Microsoft tenant. This will take a little while because it's a very, very big tenant and it's also listing uh, all the environments in the tenant. Uh, I'm not going to do that in a later command, but I just wanted to show you that we can have multiple authentication profiles. So let's do this again and run the pack of create command to connect to a different tenant. And in this case, we are going to connect to my other account and that's the test tenant that we use with, with our team. And as you can see, it's connecting to the default organization or the default environment, and that's personal productivity default. So that's what we can see here. It's also connected with the Daniel at lo locodrevolution.onmicrosoft.com account because I logged in with that account. The previous authentication profile was connected with my Microsoft account. You can also see the URL of the environment that you connected to. And if you don't add anything behind pack off create, you will always get connected to the default environment of that tenant. Let's do another one. Um, let's sh show the authentication profiles again by running pack off list. Here we can see that we have the Microsoft account and we have the local revolution account. I have connected already to the default environment because that's ha that happens when you run pack off create. But what I can also do is I can use pack env list and env stand for environment. And when I run that, I will see all the different environments in that selected authentication profile. So you can see here that there's a star in front of the second authentication profile we created because that one is active. And here I can see that we have a whole bunch of environments here. And if I want to switch from personal productivity default to, for instance, community demos, I can just copy the name. I think I didn't copy it well, but let's, let's see. Uh, select and we're using the environment parameter. In this case, I can use community as the string that I want to connect to in the environment parameter uh, because there is no other environment that uses community. So I can just use my partial name. And when I hit enter, it will select the community demos environment. So that's a really cool functionality that you can select that. And then uh, I can run pack env who and that will show me where I am, with which account I'm connected, etc. So what we can see here is that I am connected to community demos. I'm connected as Daniel as at lowcoderevolution.onmicrosoft.com. So you can see a whole bunch of interesting things. What I also want to do is I want to show you how you can do this at once, because now we connected to the off profile and then we listed the environment and then we switched to the environment. Let's remove all the off profiles. So I'm going to use pack off clear and that will remove all the different authentication profiles. So when I run 
pack off list again, it should return no profiles and that's the case. So now I want to use pack off create again. I'm gonna use environment as the parameter and I'm gonna use community because I want to do this at once. So let's run this and see what will happen. Again, I get a pop-up to sign in, of course. So there we go. And it's validating the connection and it's connected to the community demos. So here is what it will show you. Um, and when I go to pack and list, I can see the list of the environments again, and I can see that the active one is community demos. So that's how easy it is to connect to an environment and to switch from environment to environment. So that was a short tour around authentication basics with the Power Platform CLI. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'll be back soon with more videos. See you soon.